Hey man, then what's the first fucking rule of Lit House? Don't play with man. What's the first fucking rule of Lit House? You don't talk about the fucking Lit House, you understand? Because if you don't understand, you gotta get to fucking step in, man. Straight like that, Man, don't forget the first fucking rule. I got gallon of views. They see me on YouTube, they clock on my views. But they should not have assumed. If I'm unamused, then I'm shaking the room. See, I'm diffused. Run me the wrong and you making the new. My shooters, they woo. Dang, bang, bang. Turn your way to a tune. You gotta be sturdy. She throw a ballot, she trying to murder me. I got a cry and I'm Lordy of mercy. Murder your shooter like worthy and curvy. I take my time and try it in no hurry. That baby up and she fresh out of surgery. I'm all about drama. I'm my hand on it. It's like a summon. Why are you squirting? Scream murder. Murder shooter, murder, murder shooter, murder, murder shooter, murder, murder shooter. In the city like an avalanche, King the Lady do my battle dance. Smoking to me, I'm as mad as Max. I be niggas never had a chance. Murder. Shout out to yourselves, man. What other YouTube channel in the game with this amount of subscribers got 55, 59 heads waiting in the chat, man? I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Shout out to the Lidites. Shout out to the Lidites. Well, Sean, I cannot wait for you to see the video. I'm going to release the song officially. In two weeks, we will release in that song. And the next day, we will be releasing the song with drum keys, um, which is Donda. It's, it's titled Donda. We'll also be releasing the song with Mozart, which is Lost. We got a lot coming your way. Our album coming this summer. On Originals album is this summer. We're at the end of the summer, going into the fall. On Original, they hate me, but they love me. Yo, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a banger. New media ain't doing nothing. We're working. But shout out, shout out, shout out to the honorable, honorable, honorable new media members that I love dearly. And I and I don't say that like no cap. Like I really love the, the, the new media family, man. First and foremost, Brother Barch in the Blue Flame, then 704 Money Bags, the unoriginal FC, then my twin self-made Sicario, then Vegas, baby KJ, Mozart, you know what I'm saying, Judah Baptiste. My brother Rob, Queen, Netta, Sydney, Cambria, the whole gang, and many, many more. Sean Bless, my brother Drum Keys, my brother Sean Brown, my brother, uh, many, many, many more. Fume, and so many others that are representing new media. So many others, Little Affirmative, Buffalo. Man, I feel like everybody on Spaces that be talking is low key new media. If you want to join new media, y'all let us know. Hit us up on Twitter. We're once again taking memberships for new media. Also become a member of the Lit House channel, man. Become a, uh, a member of the Lit House channel. Let, channel. Let me explain something to y'all. Just because they don't do it like us, Brother Flame. Brother Blue Flame, they don't do it like us, bro. Let me explain to you, explain y'all something. Just because you're a member of the Lit House, I mean, New Media, does not mean you're a member of the Lit House. The Lit House is almost like a secret order. 
Only certain people are a part of the Lit House. If you want to be a part of the Lit House, that's next level. The Lit House will be convening and new media will be convening in Las Vegas, Nevada for Summer League. I look I look forward to um to that, to you know, fellowshipping with everybody. But if you want to be a part of the Lit House, then hit me up, DM me personally, and we'll discuss uh becoming a part of the Lit House. The Lit House is a whole vibe. The Lit House is a whole thing. You know what I'm saying? We got a music video uh, produced by Allo the Great. Um, Atlantic Rec is collaborating with us for the Lit House video. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. It's going to be a movement. As y'all can see, <laughs> I've been working, baby. I've been working. Every time y'all see me, I'm in a hotel room. Make sure y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, it's all good, man. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing new blood and new media, seeing new blood in the Lit House. Um, if you're an artist and you're interested in music, the Lit House is for you. If you're a graffiti artist and you want to do some tags or you want to sponsor some tags or, or get some tags sponsored in your local city, we are taking graffiti artists as well. If you are good with computers, if you're good with technology, you have a spot in the metaverse as well. If you are, you know, anything, you know, a graphic designer, a videographer, anything, um, this is the spot for you in the Lit House and new media. Um, y'all share the video, like the video, shout out to Coach and Learn, shout out to Netta, shout out to MKG. Y'all run that like up, run that like up. Now, if you join the Lit House, we're serious. The first rule of the Lit House is you don't talk about the Lit House, meaning if you are at an event in Vegas and you happen to be in an event and someone shows up that is not listed on the bill and you talk about the Lit House, you are not a part of the Lit House. It is not an optional thing. Shout out to Wealth Engineering. If you are at a video shoot and you happen to encounter somebody or a business deal is made or whatever happens on set of that video shoot, it remains in the lit house. And we in the south of France, baby, Sandro Pay. What happens in the lit house happens in the lit house. And we're in Fatty Steen or we're in Yemen. What happens in the lit house stays in the lit house. The first rule of the lit house is that you don't talk about the lit house. The lit house exists in the metaverse, the metaverse that we created. Look around you. It's all around you. That's us. That's we. Y'all show some love to the cash app today, every day. We are working and grinding to keep building the channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm going to put it on the screen as well. Shout out to my brother, Wealth Engineering, one of the best channels on YouTube. Shout out to brother, Wealth Engineering. If you need financial advice, that brother's a good perspective to get. I'm going to put the cash app on the screen, man. Uh, I'm working. I got some big plans this summer for New Media and for the Lit House. Like I said, hit me up on Twitter. If you want to be a part of the Lit House, you need to talk to me personally. If you want to be a part of New Media, we have our captains. We have um, Brother Bars in the Blue Flame. We have Mozart. We have Twin. We have Unoriginal. We have 704 Money Bags if you're a woman and you feel more comfortable speaking to women. Um, we have Netta, we have Queen, we have Cambria, we have Sydney, we have Malaya. So make sure you reach out to us if you want to be a part of something different. We won't explain ourselves. We won't um, we we won't um, be pigeon-toed into what you want us to be or pigeon-toed into what, what you want us to be. We're going to be us and we're going to do things our way. So that business is out of the way. Show some love to the Cash App. Vegas Baby KJ, y'all run the likes up. Shout out to my brother, Vegas Baby KJ. Me and Vegas Baby KJ have another production for you tonight. Another episode of King's Disease. King's Disease. Rob Anson, my brother, the analyst in the building. Man, where can you get a host of talent like what we got over here, man? Shout out to Wealth Engineer. He out of here. He out of here. We're going to talk about it. He says, Borejo out. Celebration, chickens. But um, yeah, man, I would rather y'all show love to the cash app because they don't split. But if you show love to the super chat, it's all good. Um, yeah, we have another episode of King's Disease tonight uh, around 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. And I promise y'all I'm going to do it, uh, a law permitting. Uh, episode of King's Disease. This is part two. It'll be entitled Gangsta Sh The Gangster Edition. Um, it's it, it's a lit house after dark episodes. So if you if you have children, uh, you're not gonna want to play this around them. Uh, we're gonna get into some 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 details of some stories. We're not gonna name any name and anything I say it could be a true for a lie. It could be hypothetical. It could be fictional. It could be sensationalized in order to make the story better. How about that? Um, but yeah, man, looking forward to doing the King's Disease tonight. 
uh, gangster version, gangster, gangster edition. So we will be talking tonight. Um, the news. Oh, shout out to Wealth Engineers. Hey, hey, whatever you can get, brother, we we appreciate it. But um, it sucks y'all ain't got cash yet. One less thing for them to tax. Um, representing ATL today. Uh, the best rap group of all time, the best rap duo of all time, I should say. Wu-Tang is probably the best rap group of all time, but the best rap duo of all time, Outcast with a K, yet yeah, them ninjas is hard. Harder than a ninja trying to impress God. We put your whole deck, put in your card, and then play my guitar, play, take a walk in the bar. And so, bro, Andre 3000, Outcast, bro, shirt is fire, representing for the culture. I love it. Everybody's here for the news. James Borrego. James Borrego. Twin, name and here you go. Twin, name a better duo than Outcast, bro. Name a better and Wu Tang is not better than Outcast. I hate to say that, bro. Wu Tang had one classic album. Wu Tang Forever was mad. 36 Chambers was classic. Wu, Wu Tang Forever was mad. And, and the other one with the Flintstones on after that was trash. Even members of the Wu Tang, even members of Wu Tang say Wu Tang Forever was man. The dopest song on Wu Tang Forever is probably Triumph. Ooh, doom, doom. Ooh, doom, doom. Shout out to Corey Chrome, the bearded badass, new media, new media. Corey got a lot of stuff he's cooking up for um, Vegas, man. Corey, we still on for that spot, man, so we can start planning this event. Yeah, outcast, bro. Look, I understand Coach Antler. I know that's the, that's the street answer. That's cool. But, dog, A-Ball MJG, as much as I love him, who can I trust? God only knows. It's hard to tell who you can call friend of flow. Money. It's what a, I get it. I get it. That's the street answer. None of them dudes better than outcast, bro. Outcast got goddamn Southern playlist. Cadillac bumping music, classic album. Outcast got AT Aliens, classic album. Outcast got Equimini, classic album. Outcast got uh Stankonia, classic album. Outcast got Speaker Box, classic album. Outcast got Love Below, classic album. Bro, it ain't no arguments. Nah, man. See, coach, you talking about when they transitioned, but. When they first came out, Andre 3000 is from Adamsville, bro. He was out here robbing people, bro. He, he, he was a stick-up kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, that first, them first two albums wasn't no pop. Equimini wasn't no pop. They didn't really cross over. Ramadan Mubarak, I got key. I said, I'm going to tell a bit of cancer. They didn't really cross over into really Speaker Box Love Below. I guess you could say stank on here with, I'm sorry, Mr. Jackson, and all that. Hey, ball MJG, I can't argue with you. Great, great down south duo. Great overall hip hop duo. Great street duo. But A ball MJG ain't even better than um, Bun B and Pimp C, man. You know, mine go like this. My, my rap duos go like this. <clears throat> Outcast with a K. Yeah, Ninjas is hard. That's one. Two is probably going to be Pimp C and Bomb B Underground Kings. Three is probably going to be I might slide 8-Ball MJG. I might low-key, high-key, low-key, high-key, but really Mob Deep probably Mob Deep probably going to be number three, but they died at the hands of Jay-Z, so I'm going to put 8-Ball MJG right there. Uh, number four Mob Deep, number five, Red and Meth. Yeah, that's how I'm going with it. That's my top five groups all the time. But see, they were never an official duo on original. Them boys, was, they was fire. They was they was fire. Brother, Try, I want to do do something, do, do something so bad because I've been on the road a lot, so I've been listening to a lot of hip-hop. My life is on the road now, people. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just letting y'all know. Hope to hear how MJ's in trouble for my phone. You better talk, you, you better plug that thing up. Uh, uh wealth engineer, man. I ain't, I ain't been talking to the people in a while. And you know, wealth, 
the people got to come for the reverend, man. They got to come from for the brother Blue Flame. They got to come for Honor Original FC. They got to come for 704 Money Bags. They got to come for Netta. They got to come for Queen. They got to come for Mozart. They got to come for Ra. They got to come from Judah. They can't come for Joe and Lamella on the front. Ball, baby. Because here, what we building over here is self-sustainable. You feel me? It can't be based off no one. If you ain't here because you love me, why you here, baby? If you ain't here because you believe in the lit house, why you here, baby? Huh? But yeah, I, I want to get to that. Oh yeah, the push Pusha T has the album of the year. Pusha T has the album of the year. On the original FC, we need to do that though, brother. Yeah, that that push album is is ridiculously ridiculous. But yeah, we'll do a hip hop hip hop stream. We'll do a hip hop stream. Y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for pulling up. Don't forget tonight, we got the Brooklyn Nets versus the Boston Celtics. I have some special guests on. Don't forget, after that, 11 o'clock tonight, we got King's Disease Part 2, Gangster Edition. Many, many more. If you got questions about Vegas, me and me, Corey, Vegas Baby, K, uh, Baby, Vegas Baby KJ, we are planning things as we speak. Uh, Corey's been trying to get at me. I've been on the road, but we're, we're putting this thing together, and we're looking forward to seeing you guys in Vegas. All right. The names I've heard to place replace uh, James Borrego. The names I've heard to replace, shout out to Unoriginal, dope, dope. Um, Tim Elliott, the Celtics assistant coach, Chicago Bulls assistant coach, Mark Jackson. I've heard Hubie Davis. And I've heard a few other assistants. Me personally, knowing Jordan and how he operates, yeah, that, that's the rumors flying around. Shout out to Blinky Book. Um, the way he operates, I can see it end up being an assistant coach. Charlotte is the type of town that likes assistant coaches. Now, you need to worry about what Pusha T got to say about Drake. Don't worry about what I got to say, Netta. Because um, Pusha T, just remember, Lord have mercy. But let me get back to it, y'all. Um, Charlotte likes overthinking basketball. They they discuss basketball and they talk about the X's and O's in basketball and the culture of basketball like they are Harvard University in the damn. Sweet 16 or the NCAA, right? Okay, dope, dope. I know it's just dope. It's dope. Um, they they talk they, they they overthink things. They overthink things. Like like they don't ever want to go with an obvious name. Like remember they were dogging Miles Turner. Oh, Miles Turner. Miles Turner is horrible. Miles Turner can't rebound. Miles Turner's not, it, I'm gonna give a guy $500. I'm gonna make sure you know all of this, all of this stupid stuff, right? And they got Mason Plumley out there. They got Mason Plumley out there, and they talking crazy about Miles Turner. And then you see Miles Turner with Tyler here. I mean with Tyrese Halliburton, and they look like a fringe playoff team next year. You throw out Mark Jackson in the coach. Yeah, I'm not Mark Jackson. I don't want Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson is not a I mean, think about it. You throw out um Willie Green. But Willie really Green? But really Willie Green you to be able to look at his record. You throw out Sam Cassell. Sam Cassell is not proven in this league. Sam, bro, y'all hire James Borrego. Out the video room, man. Y'all hear me? You hired James Borrego out the goddamn video room. The man was the head coach of the New Orleans Pelicans, and he was trash. 
He was the head coach of the Orlando Magic, the interim coach, and he was trash. And what did you do? You turned around and gave this man a three-year, four-year contract. I don't want to hear you talking bad about Mark Jackson. Y'all are not in any position to talk bad about anyone. I had to correct my brother Danny yesterday on spaces. He was like, I mean, does anybody really think that LaMelo will want to go to the dumpster fire that is the Lakers? I mean, if you look at the organizations side by side, and, I mean, just look. I said, hold on, then. I said, in a losing year with Sasha Vucevic, of whatever his name was, Vujacek, the dude with the, with the damn French ponytail used to shoot the threes with Kobe. With, with Adam Morrison and Luke Walton, the Lakers have more success and people are more excited about the Lakers in a bum year. We have more fun laughing at the Lakers in a bum year and going to the damn Staples Center in a bum year than we do in a playoff year in Charlotte. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Come on. When y'all went to the playoffs with Kimball Walker, I did not care, brother. You hear me, brother? I did not care. What are you talking about, brother? I did not care. I didn't even know y'all was in the playoffs. I did not know y'all was in the playoffs. And when I saw it on TV, like, you know, I come up on your guy, NBA player. Oh, playoffs on. Who playing? Charlotte, oh, hell no. I'm not watching that. Somebody be coming on spaces and they stay coming on space. I think it's Nick. I think it's Nick, the young boy from Charlotte. I think Nick said he always be talking about, yeah, one year we almost had Dwayne Wade in the Miami Heat. Man, in what world, bro? In what, in whose mind? Because no one I know actually thought y'all was going to beat the Miami Heat. Y'all twisted pretzels. I, there was never no time in my life do I remember, oh, my God, the Hornets got the heat in trouble. Most people said, okay, I'll start watching game five or game six, man, when, Le when LeBron and Wade really start playing. No, but yeah, yeah, bro, y'all, look. My problem with a lot of Charlotte fans is the level of delusion that they operate on. I, other people that come from other fan bases know their team sucks. Like when, when Nate McMillan took Lloyd Pierce's position with the Atlanta Hawks, Atlanta was ecstatic. No one was saying stuff. Well, when Nate McMillan was with Portland in his last three years, they had a bad record. Bro, y'all ain't in no position. Y'all down talking Frank Vogel. You ain't in no position to down talk Frank Vogel. You just had James Borrego as your coach. How you going to, bro, Frank Vogel led the Indiana Pacers damn near to finals appearances. In about three years straight, with Paul George, Paulie Georgie, let me get my Denzel on, Paulie Georgie, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, Paulie Georgie, Lance can make him dance Stevenson, yeah, <laughs> Lance can make him dance Stevenson and Roy Hibbert, man. They almost, be, they came from a LeBron James layup running to the left side floater from going to the uh, the finals. Man, what are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking about? Frank Vogel just won a championship. Y'all are crazy, man. The names y'all are throwing out are inadequate. Let me paint a picture. It's kind of like a portrait. I'm about to teach class real quick. I got to teach uh, class real quick, y'all. Y'all let me teach. Just let me teach. Don't, don't trip on me. Don't trip on me. Don't do me. 
You heard? Let me get my teacher on, right? I want y'all to feel me. I want y'all to feel me. All right? Get that out of here. Get that out of here. All right. So let me paint a portrait for you, okay? When Leonardo da Vinci the Moor painted the portrait that is the Sistine Chapel, do you think when him and his helpers were done painting this picture, did they say to themselves, you know what would be good? If we go get the most marginal person in Italy, the most marginal person in France, the most marginal person in all of Europa, and get them to talk about this painting. Only Charlotte thinks Hold on. I'm trying to show you where I'm going with this. I'm painting a masterpiece. Y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video, subscribe, and show some love to the Cashy Ashy app. Only the Charlotte Hornets would want to take this masterpiece. Hold up. Hold up, because I'm teaching to you today. Only the Charlotte Hornets would want to take this masterpiece. I, I got to give it to you. I got to give it to you how it comes. Would want to take this masterpiece and say, let's get the most marginal person ever to coach him. We want the best kept secret to coach him. We want this super great coach that's an assistant on the sidelines to coach him. No proven track record, no interest. No one even knows how to search for his name because nobody even knows his damn name. Let's get what many are starting to call on TV, off of TV, goddamn Danny Thompson said on New Media Spaces the other day. Y'all, let's get over her no likes. Y'all know I cut the stream. Y'all know I cut the stream. Danny Thompson said the other day, yesterday, LaMelo Ball could be the face of the league in two years. Only Charlotte would say, let's take the face of the league and pair him with a coach that no one knows who is unproven. Do you know why Steve Nash coaches the Brooklyn Nets, even though they're losing? White privilege is a great answer, but there's more to it than that. Do you know why? Because Steve Nash if he sucks or if he doesn't suck is a name that ticket holders that season ticket holders know and the imagination runs wild the imagination runs wild when you think about kevin durant and kyrie irving and the steve nash coach team it's brilliant so even if you suck, Brooklyn, and it feels like you suck, Brooklyn, because of Kevin Durant, whatever's going on with him, even if you suck, you still have this air of hope because, hey, he was an MVP and he's coaching an MVP and a champion. That's how you mask mediocrity. Oh, but not Charlotte. Oh, no, 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 not the 12 time champion Charlotte Hornets. Let's go find the guy at the end of the bench with the suit on. There's this brilliant basketball mind that's never been a head coach in his life. And that's been the last four years potentially of LaMelo's career in Charlotte with a damn 
with the damn experiment. Don't destroy the masterpiece that is the Sistine Chapel LaMelo Ball. Look how poetic this picture is, man. The thing about LaMelo that is so goddamn pure, that is so goddamn magic gold from nothing, this guy is just a kid. On God, he's just a kid. Look, the dude's body's not even filled out. Everything he does is swag and drip. You know you got swag and drip and sauce and seasoning. You know you got seasoning, bro. When your own owner is jocking your steez. I appreciate that, KJ. Hey, keep keep the throne picture though. Put 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 that 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 text with the throne picture. Cause we want to make that the thing. We want to make that the thing. Remove the chest, and 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 then you know what I'm saying. Put the throne picture back in there. That's the theme of the show. I, I want I want my brothers and sisters to know that they're kings and queens. That's why I'm keeping it like that. I get the metaphor. I get the metaphor, but let's keep it like that. It's a branding thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like the MB. O ones, not the MB ones, the MBO ones. Because any Allen Foster's in the camp, they're gonna lose their noodles. No chicken low man. All right, back to it. Um, yeah, man. The dude has his own team owner jocking his thieves. Brad, what are you talking about, bro? You just be getting up here and be saying these conspiracies, and, and you just be saying stuff. Well, you're like, like, bro, like just stop. Stop clickbait. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Uh, uh. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Uh, uh. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. How many people in the chat got them Rick and Mortys? Y'all say something in the chat if you got them the mellow ball Rick and Mortys. Huh? How many of you have the LaMelo Ball, Rick and Morty's? Well, not to be undone by Mr. Dollar short day late, you can now cop some Team Jordan. Naruto Team Jordans. Now, I wonder where he got that idea from. And I wonder, I wonder why he has Zion Williams promoting it. And I wonder, hold on, I'm cooking, y'all. Y'all smell, y'all smell it? Are y'all starting to smell the aromas? I wonder why the, the GM that is being looked at to replace Mitch potentially in Charlotte is a Nike Jordan rep from Chicago with Zion Williams free agency pending in about two and a half years. Hmm. Now, I remember Rev reporting on Spaces that there are problems with the Mellow being a Puma athlete in that building and the popularity of those shoes. Now, if you sign Russell Westbrook for one year, that's a Jordan brand athlete that's representing your brand. You got three more years with LaMelo, two years until Zion can officially come to your team. You can bleed out for two years until you get Zion. But let me tell you something, Michael, dear Michael, like Brother Train calls you, get it together, Michael. You're a day short. Your dollar short and a day late. Zion Williams is not LaMelo Ball. I'm not even talking about what happens on the court. Zion Williams is a hell of a player on the court. 
He's going to get figured out. And as his athleticism dies down, he'll be Sean Kemp 2.0. But with that being said, internationally, markability-wise, there has not been an athlete like LaMelo Ball since Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. LaMelo Ball is Steph Curry on crack. No, no, that's not a good word. LaMelo Ball is Steph Curry on steroids. That, LaMelo Ball is Steph Curry on red, red, red Bull and PhDs. I mean, PEDs, I'm sorry. Performance enhancing drugs. This dude... For those of you who are not from the culture, let me get this crap off my goddamn screen. I'm not, in the words of my twin, I'm not buying no goddamn team, Jordans. Bro, you didn't even have the damn no know how. If you want to, if, if you want to fight a Super Saiyan, you fight a Super Saiyan with a Super Saiyan. You should have went and got Goku, dummy. You should have went and got Goku, dummy. You went and got the second best. Don't how Jordan gonna go get Scottie Pippen? Jordan, how you gonna go get Scottie Pippen? If you're gonna go to war with a young legend, it takes a saying to kill a saying. And I got a lot of saying pride. Bars. Go get Goku, dummy. Ain't nobody wearing them goddamn Zion Williamson team Jordans. You can't even get this man his own shoe. Look, for those of you who do not come from the culture, even if you don't come from the culture, if you come from a certain persuasion, you need to know your history. Your history is pretty dumb. Run the likes up, show love to the cash app. We should be over 100 likes. Hey, like check, one, two, one, two. Hey, I... Um, P. Diddy minus the sus stuff. Um, I will shut down the studio. I will shut down the studio. I said, I don't why they come what I'm talking about, but I got to. Yeah, I, 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 hold on, hold on. Before you say something, before you say something, I'm on stream. So let me call you as soon as I get off stream, all right? All right, so how are they? All right, back to it, back to it. Show some love to the Cashy Ashy app. Y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for pulling up in the lay house. Everything you donate goes towards the channel, goes towards upgrading the channel, goes towards new media, goes towards the lit house. Uh, thanks everybody that has ever donated anything. If it's been a dime, a cent, a dollar, a day, a like, a sub, it doesn't matter. I appreciate all of you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Best streams in the game. Best team in the game. Best names in the game. Starting with Brother Bars in the Blue Flame, Brother Mozart, Brother Vegas Baby, KJ Judah, on original 704 Money Bags, Twin, Rob Ansa, and Mozart the Great. Many, many more. Um, yeah, show some love. But where was I before the odd call? Five more likes to a hundo or the gun go. Y'all tell them five more likes to a hundo or the gun go. You feel me? We got three streams today. We got three streams today, Lidites. We got this stream. We got the Boston Celtics versus the Brooklyn Nets streams. And then we got the... We got a woozy, got a wise, got a King's disease. So... All right, we have one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Hey, Mozart, it's time for us to cook up some more music, bro. What's going on? New media, support the team, support the dream, support the goddamn stream. Ain't no doubt about it. All right, so um, where was I? I feel like I was catching a body. I feel like I was catching a body. I feel like I was, I feel like I was sacrificing a goat. And Ramadan's not over yet. Bars! <laughs> I feel like I was sacrificing a goat and Ramadan is not over yet. Oh, yeah, Michael Jordan. So, what was I saying about Jordan? What was I saying? What were we talking about? I got thrown off. <laughs> Twin. What, what was I talking about? 
Something to do with Jordan. His his name seems to uh, rhyme with ineptitude and loser mentality lately. So it's a list of things I could be talking about. Shout out to Devin A. Hey, Devin A has been minutes. It's been a, a while since I've been doing streams, honestly. You ain't missed nothing. Well, you missed everything and missed nothing at the same time. He should have gotten Goku. Hell, you should have got Vegeta. Naruto's cool, but he's pipping. Look, let me let me, let me look. Michael, send my check in the mail. I know you're trying to appeal to the youth because you see the young boy. He got these Jolly Rancher color shoes all around the goddamn spectrum. Send all the kids love him. You know what I'm saying? Jerseys everywhere. You're starting to feel like your your manhood is not, you know, whatever, right? Like you're not the man anymore, right? Bro, if you're going to tap into that energy, yes, there's a strong Naruto population. But there is only one Goku. Goku is the, is, is the OG of this thing. He is crossed over. Naruto is crossing over. But Goku waiting on the other side on the beach with a goddamn coconut and a straw. Like, what took you so long with Beerus and Vegeta? Hey, Vegeta probably would do more balls than Naruto, low-key. See, because with Vegeta and Goku, you even going to get some nostalgia. The Naruto, you only going to get the youth. You only going to get the youth with Naruto, some of the youth. Because you got a strong population that's still loyal to Goku. Attack on Titan and all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? One Punch Man. You would have been better going with Vegeta. You should have had some Jordans for, for Luca called Saiyan's, Saiyan's, Saiyan's Pride. Devin A was born this way. I can't look no other way. Came out like, bow. You can't war with Scotty Pippen, Jordan. You can't send Scotty Pippen for the mellow ball. The man is in your town. And in one year, he went from being number 15 in Jersey sales in Charlotte with only like eight, nine prime times games all year. This kid went from number 15 to 14 in a season in Jersey sales. Bro, if him and Devin Booker were on a track right now, he would be hawking his ass down like Usain Bolt smiling. Bro, in Charlotte. Huh? Shout out to my brother HL Kid. He out of touch, man. He out of touch like a track phone, brother train. He out of touch like a boost mobile iPhone. He out of touch, brother. He out of touch like someone with a Samsung Galaxy in New, New Mexico and Nevada. He out of touch. If you're going to do it, do it right. That is a great point. Now, I'm no wealth engineer. I don't proclaim to be. But if you can get your hand on a number two jersey, instead of complaining like you're LaMelo, go buy you a number two jersey. 20 years from now, you'll love it. My money, your dollar. How about that? Huh? What did Denzel, what Denzel say? You get the number one jersey lined up. You get the number two jersey lined up. And line it in the pockets. Pay the bill. Bro, that jersey going to be worth so much goddamn money, them number two jerseys. Stop complaining. None of y'all are the Vaughn's son or Tina's son. None of y'all are going to be playing in the spectrum. Buy as many versions of that number two jersey that you can buy. It's going to be worth a lot of money. When is the last time you saw an original Michael Jordan 4 5 jersey? Huh? Yeah. It's going to be worth a lot of money. It's going to be worth a lot of money. Get it. Get, get the different versions. Get the original MBO ones. Get the original MB ones if you can. This stuff is going to be worth a lot of money because everything is going digital. And this is how things work. 
when we get tuned up off the dope, I hear say cocaine is coming back around in the streets. That's the word. But there was a time when crack became king, but cocaine is back. I only use this street metaphor for a better metaphor. I'm something like a poet in my former life. With that being said, if people are rushing to a metaverse, which is here, okay, which is here, just making sure you give me in the frame, take a picture, all right, which is here. People are going to want to get back to physical things because they're going to start feeling like they're detached from reality. Those memorabilia are going to be real reality. The NFTs are cool. People are going to start figuring them out. The crypto was cool. But man and woman will always be rooted in the earth. And the moment we stop being rooted in the earth, we'll die. We'll become extinct. We'll become extinct. So people are going to want those jerseys. They're going to want those shoes. They're going to want them. When LaMelo wears number one, next year when he gets that number one jersey, that's probably going to be a top 10 to top five selling jersey of all time. I mean, not all time. I'm talking about uh, next year. I'm sorry. Shout out to my brother, Mark Pierce. And I see you, Vegas baby, KJ. That's just a side note. Michael Jordan off step, off beat, off key. If they singing, then he's Eddie Kane on the cane. He can't, he just can't get the rhythm down. The vocals don't come out the same no more. Michael Jordan is off key, man. He the person you look around in the choir like, God damn. Would you get it together? That's Michael Jordan right now. I'm starting to read. Yesterday's move is a power play. Allow me to break it down. All anybody has been talking about all summer long since the play and loss is LaMelo to what city? Let, hey, let me teach a sermon so that your soul can receive it. Where have they been talking about LaMelo ball ending up for the last two weeks? Talk to me now. La la what? Hold on, no. You got to say it with some, put some spec on it. Put some spec on it. Where is it? LA what? La la what? La la land, right? To live and die in LA is the place to be. Y'all don't know about that. Y'all don't know about that. The Clippers, the Dippers. Don't play with me, HL kids. You know the rules about the dippers. The likers, baby. Likers, 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 likers. You better learn about the dress code B's and C's. All the mother ninjas, copycats, D's is G's. Yeah. LA. So Mike said, you know what? This kid is becoming the face of my franchise. He may become the face of the league, the face of the city. His shoe is in my building with my logo everywhere. And everywhere we look, when we do research on who's wearing what, who's spending money on what, we see kids, women, children, men, older, younger, with these shoes on. Okay. We got embarrassed in the playoffs. We got embarrassed in the play-in. How do I reinsert myself into this story? So we hear the news about James Borrego because James Borrego is the easy target. Mitch Kupchak is the more difficult situation for Jordan to deal with. If you know, you know. James Borrego is a substitute teacher. You know how many times I've come to school and been looking forward to, as a young man, a certain substitute teacher being there because that substitute teacher was like, The next day, we got a substitute to teacher that's 533 years old or some old Vietnam vet. No offense to the Vietnam vets. 
And you waiting all week like, God damn, Miss Johnson been out of school. She gonna be out of school for the next two weeks. Well, old girl at? No dice. So no one ever really missed unless it was like ping, bang, bing, bong, a substitute teacher. So that was the easy move. The more difficult move will be Mitch Cupshack. So Jordan, he cuts the easy bait. Not only does he cut the easy bait, not only does he cut the easy bait, I told you, bro, that's, that, that, that was an obvious loss. That was an obvious loss. Now, Fury better retire. I think Fury is going to retire because they're on his head about the cheating and the, and, and, and the, the little friend that he has over there that y'all really gloss over. But I think that's I think I think Fury retires, bro. He's in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. And Regent Regency bias will not fix that. It will not fix that. With that being said. I'm sitting here and I'm imagining Michael Jordan coming in that goddamn office yesterday, feeling fired up with a certain song playing in his head, feeling like an old head that just got to get back, got to get back in rhythm. And the only song that comes to my mind when I think about Jordan as he gets ready to go up to the office to tell Mitch to fire James Borrego and to put his foot down and leak the story that it was him that did it. That's how that works. You fire somebody and you leak the story so you can show that you have control of the organization. Unoriginal, you know nothing about boxing, bro. I have to leave that at that. If, if, if you think that overnight this man got power, just like I, I know nothing about soccer, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. If you think that man is really throwing haymakers 30 fights into his career and just talking about retiring now that this dude is being thrown into. Okay, so why is he knocking people out on the original? We can't do the white Jesus thing on the original. We can't, bro. We can't on the original. We can't. But hold on, hold on. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it on the stream. The song that's in my mind. When Jordan walked into that goddamn office. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. But I, but I, bro, Jordan must have felt like returning a Mac hit, bro. He just knew he was coming in that thing yesterday. The story was going to be all about Jordan. It was going to be him getting back on the get back, on the get back, on the get back. And I typed in the words L.A. into the Twitter search. Before I could get the rest of L.A. out, LaMelo Ball to Los Angeles. Damn, there's 6,000 tweets in an hour. I said, God damn. You don't fire Borrego. Why is it still trending? <laughs> Jordan, you better listen. Let me tell you something, Jordan. I'm more plugged in, homie, than the reporters you playing. I'm more plugged in then that media that you paying, man. New media is more on the post of who players might want as their coach than you. See, Jordan, they're going to tell you whatever they need to tell you to get you the hell out of their face. But God, I'm not saying me. Guys like me. I might know who your star player wants as his head coach, Jordan. And some people may be thinking that you're trying to compete with your star player, Jordan. And you wouldn't want that going into a rookie contract year, would you? You think that's smart? You think that's smart? 
don't know. I do not know. Shout out to the Greensboro Swarm. Did I teach you nothing? Shout out to the Greensboro Swarm for calling Jello stands or calling Jello fans Jello stands. Shout out to youth for being the worst PR in basketball. Y'all just don't learn. Y'all just don't learn. Y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Me and Unoriginal, we'll talk about Fury on the uh, the stream. I don't want to get sidetracked, y'all. My mind is already racing. I'm fasting, so it's a struggle doing this as it is. All right. That's how they do, brother train. That's how they do. Y'all have no respect. Y'all, y'all foresight is, is, is short sight. Y'all ain't got no foresight. Y'all got short sight, man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why would you call the Angelo supporters, who is the biggest revenue stream for you? Let me go, Bill Cosby. Why would you call the Angelo supporters Jello stands? See, if you feast on the meal that the Charlotte Hornets are serving up as an organization and you really start tasting the seasoning they put in to what they cooking up there, you'll start tasting a hint of disrespect to LaMelo. You'll start tasting some underlining something that just don't taste right. You ever been eating something and when you first start eating it, it tastes really good? You're like, damn, this is banging. But back in the day, they used to be like, yo, this got an aftertaste. This leave an aftertaste in my mouth. Bro. Why would you call them jello stands? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? It's like, it's this hint of, I don't know, is it jealousy? Is it holding LaMelo back? Is it holding Jello back? Like, what is, is that smart to you? Is that smart to you? Like, who is, well, matter of fact, in Greensboro, I know who's running it. But that's the thing, man. Whoever's running it in Greensboro, I know y'all. Y'all don't do nothing. Y'all don't do nothing without the permission of Mitch. And Charlotte. Y'all don't do anything without the permission of Mitch and Charlotte. I'm going to tell you how I know. I'm going to tell you how I know. Let me get my LeVar on. Based on the fact that. Based on the fact that. When them boys was practicing together at the Spectrum Center. Based on the fact that. Your social media account jumped the gun. One of y'all got in trouble for putting it out too quick. Based on the fact that. Bruh. Y'all just don't get it. Now, if I'm Chicago, I see where I'm is headed with Lonzo potentially with this injury to coerce. See, it's so difficult. Levine has proven he, he's a guy, but he ain't the guy. The Rosen had 41 the other night and came back and had an egg. Do you tolerate Lonzo for three years and, and sign Jello now? Let him play in the G League because there's too much talent on Chicago's roster to replace him into the into a uh, uh, um, into a rotation or into the bench, and, and Lonzo's hurt too much to justify that that roster spot being taken up. Are you willing to do that to wait on Lamelo Ball? Had a shot at getting Lamelo Ball. Lamelo Ball doesn't say Chicago to me though. Lamelo Ball says three places. Picture this. Lights, right? Attitude. The garden. The mellow sit. Shout out to my twin on original. Only thing we disagreed on was fury. 
but we still on point. Madison Square Garden. Lamelo's made for the garden, baby. Lamelo is made for the garden, baby. Can you picture Lamelo on Broadway? Lamelo on Broadway, baby. Charlotte is 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 low key. That color scheme, that something about Charlotte is just an untapped gold mine. So Charlotte is another place that I feel like he could really thrive if they would just let him. And the other place, if you go to L.A., man, look, no one goes to Burger King to get a chicken sandwich or a fish sandwich. And if you do, you need to go see a psychiatrist. You need therapy. You go for the Whopper. You go for the bread. I like Miami, too. Miami is another one, but, but it's a lesser one. If you go to Los Angeles, you go for Jack. You go for Zell. You go for the stars. You don't go for Billy Crystal and the Dippers and Clipper Dave or whatever his name is. You go to be a liker, liker, liker. What is it going to take Michael Jordan to get his act together, man? I do not co-sign that horrible article that was written by Scott Fowler taking shots at Michael Jordan and talking about Michael Jordan needs to fire himself after firing James Borrego. You should have said that when Michael Jordan saw the mellow ball on the brink of scoring 40 and winning a, game, a critical game in Boston and being benched and pulled out. You should have said that when Michael Jordan oversaw Gordon Hayward getting $125 million plus the 15 that's due Nicholas Batum. You should have said that when Terry Rozier, who yay had to a toadstool, was given $97 million. That's when you should have said that. But did you say that? Nah, my guy. You didn't say it. You didn't say he needed to be fired then. You didn't say it when it was a 10-game losing streak. You said it when he got rid of Mitch's guy. And it shows me, as I said to my brother, Brother Barts in the Blue Flame, go subscribe to his channel. You go subscribe. That's what you do. You go subscribe to his channel. I said to my brother that the Charlotte media, hmm, the Charlotte media are more intimidated by Mitch Kupchak than Michael Jordan. Scott Fowler dropped that verse. He dropped that damn, he dropped that article quicker than Pusha T responding to Drake when Drake dropped that weech. Pusha T had that song ready for five months. Scott Fowler has had that article ready just in case Michael fired James Borrego. They are more afraid as media personnel in Charlotte to talk about Mitch Kupchak, the crypt keeper, and he ain't a cousin, than they are Michael Jordan. This man told the owner of the Charlotte Hornets he needs to fire himself over a coach that has never finished higher than ninth. He got three tens like his name was Curry. That's 30. He got three, ten, three tens like his name was Curry. Three tenth seeds. Come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for putting up in the house of the net, uh, of the lit. Show some love to the Cashy Ashy app. Make sure you hit that subscribe. And let's keep rocking and rolling, man.
Shout out to everybody that sent the cash out. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. You could have been anywhere else in the world. And as I always say, you are here with the house of the lit. So what am I hearing? I'm hearing the more moderate approach in Charlotte is that they want an assistant coach. They want a particular assistant coach. I am not fond of the name. I respect the name, but I don't think that's a name that you match with a mellow ball. The Lakers took off truly. They won a championship under West Stop, but they became the true Showtime Lakers when that slick back ball named Pat Riley was on the side of the court looking like a goddamn La Costa Nostra Mafia boss. Oh, this thing of ours, man, this thing of ours. Bro, the man was on the court looking like a boss, a mob boss, coaching the Los Angeles Lakers. Young, thriving coach, energetic, no nonsense, intense, showtime, baby. So much gel in his hair, he can pin down a goddamn calf. You know what I'm saying? Pat Riley, man. You put names with names, baby. That's always been the name of the game. The first rule of any sport is entertainment. Are you not entertained? Shout out to Millie Rock Mike. New media, new media. Shout out to Jonathan Brand. New media, new media. Say it three names and we'll pop out like candy, man. Say it three times and we'll pop out like candy, man. So I know anybody interested in watching that Jordan Poole movie, the one with um Kiki Palmer and, and the ball from uh from uh Judas and the Black Messiah, and Get Out about the aliens. I'm interested. Back into character. All right, so um, yeah, man. But it seems like the more moderate approach, which will probably win through, will be an assistant coach. I don't think that's what you do. I think to cover up your horrible cap, I think to cover up your, your inadequacies as a franchise, you go get the biggest name possible and you can you pair them with a mellow ball. So even though if you fail, they will talk about you on TV. JG, you see what I did there? Even if you fail, they will talk about you on TV every day, talking about how this is a failure. And the more they talk about you on TV, the more... Uh, the more ad revenue you're going to get on Twitter and YouTube, you should be if you're handling your business, right? The more web hits you're going to get. But if you get some random ass assistant coach, let me explain what's on the line with this assistant coach business. If you, if you get Tim Elliott, if you get Jennings, if you get one of these under the radar names, right? And you allow Mitch Kupchak, because it looks like if Mitch Kupchak's there, even if he leaves next year, he's going to be the one to hire it. I need to paint a picture for y'all in Charlotte. I'm going to take my sunglasses off so y'all understand how real I'm being right now. If you allow a GM that's not going to be there next year or in the future to hire the next coach, and that coach is signed to a three- or four-year contract, and LaMelo Ball's rookie extension is three at the least, four at the most, right? So that'll be seven years in total. He really can push out at six. This coach might be the coach that is there when the mellow leaves. So you're stuck with this assistant coach who brings nobody in the arena, puts no asses in the seats. Now, if you combinate a name with a mellow ball, now you might be birthing a Pat Riley. Now you might be birthing hope. Like when Phil Jackson came to the Los Angeles Lakers. Bro, Dale Harris took the Lakers to the playoffs the year before. Did a hell of a job. You're not good enough. Get him out of there. And no, dog, we don't want some guy who's a clipboard holder that's a brilliant mind. It's the Lakers, bro. Bring us a star coach. So that even if we lose, God damn it, we look good doing it. I'll cash, baby. Y'all 
Y'all understand what I'm saying? Doesn't matter. He's not going to put asses in the seat, Mozart. It doesn't matter. Does not matter. Doesn't matter how good this coach is. Doesn't matter how bad this coach is. I'm, I'm being real. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. I'm kicking some game to you. Listen to what I'm saying. Charlotte is not winning anything anytime soon. You don't have enough time for this development. You don't have enough time to fix this cap. But what you can do is create excitement. And excitement generates, and the original is 100% right. I like that name. A lot of people don't like it because they're talking about defense. Charlotte's not going to be a good defensive team next year. It doesn't happen in a year. You need to go all in. You need to go all in on excitement in Charlotte, on showtime in Charlotte. Go all in on that brand to build revenue, to make yourself a free agency destination. As much as people talk bad about Mike D'Antoni and defense, dude, the year before Chris Paul came, they had a damn good defense with Patrick Beverly and Montrezl Harrell. And don't y'all forget, did y'all forget that before Chris Paul got injured, them boys was almost in the Western Conference Finals, whooping the hell out of the Warriors with Durant? I'm about to right now, Mo. Um, Uh, let me see what he got going on. Um, I don't know. All right, so I got some news. I got some news brought to you by New Media Captain Mozart the Great. There are reports floating around. There's some uh, investigation floating around of Mike Krzyzewski currently being in Charlotte, having visited Charlotte and being picked up at the airport by Michael Jordan. Breaking news here in the louds. Breaking news in the little house. I'll be right back. I got to make some calls. Y'all bear with me. I need to check up on this information. Please uh, bear with me. Y'all don't go anywhere. While you wait, show some love to the Cash App. I will be right back. I will be right back. One of the new media members wants to join the stream while I make some calls. That will be very helpful. I will be right back.
Mozart, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the hell you found that. Uh, I don't know how the hell you found that. I don't know how the hell you found that. But I will say, this is all I'll say, it is confirmed that Coach K is in Charlotte. That's not a rumor. That's not conjecture. Coach K in the last 24 hours has been in Charlotte. And one source seems to think that something is going on behind the scenes. And this is actually a real thing. This is actually a real thing. This is actually a real thing. This is breaking news here on the Lit House. We always have a lot of uh, breaking news. Also, I can report. I already knew about some situations going on with particular players and some things behind the scene being split on James Borrego's firing. I think if you were very astute and you looked at the Twitter accounts, if you looked at the Instagram accounts, you, you could see what players felt what about what, how some uh, looked like. Uh, nothing even happened and posted about other things that should have been an indication, but also I can confirm that there was some bad blood that was spewing or brewing between Mitch Kupchak and James Borrego and the knives are out. The pistols are out in Charlotte uh, metaphorically and people are fighting for their positions. They're fighting for their spots. Uh, LaMelo ball has upset the apple cart as it usually is in Charlotte. Um, they feel like they need to get a coach in there that is a name. And, I, hey, I must say, even though it's the Carolina Link, you got to put a name with a name, man. You cannot have a marginal name with a name. And if Jordan does this, even though Coach K is a bit of a control freak, it is a masterful chess move by, by, by Michael Jordan. Because if you want to keep a development environment there, the only name in basketball that really I, – I, I like Mark Jackson as well, but the only other name in basketball that really, really is a developmental name who has coached Olympians, who, 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 who is credited – I don't believe this, but is credited with bringing back the dream team, which is the redeemed team, was Coach K. And that's a lot of cachet, man. When you got a star as big as LaMelo Ball and you bring in a guy like Coach K, Michael Jordan, if this is really the move, wow. I am also being told that he will not be coming in just – this ain't no media ad jams. You got to know what you're talking about now. You got to know what you're talking about. Unless you're saying they snatching them away from LeBron, which would be a hard, hard story. Some of it is media, some of it is other stuff. Got to know, hey, come on now, let's talk. Look, that he would not just be coming in as a coach. It would be potentially to run the operation as well. Or he could just be there to run the actual operation. This is very, very important news. It's not going to be confirmed by any particular Twitter accounts, because I think it will be a changing of the guard silently between Mitch Kupchak and Mike Krzyzewski, Brother Barts and the Blue Flame. You understand the importance of those two names. You understand the importance of their connection with Adam Silver. You understand, you understand, you understand. Brother, if you're able to pull up right now, I will drop the link, but you understand some things that other people don't understand when it comes to those three names and the importance of those three names. I mean, I, I don't think it matters if we cool with it or not. I don't think it matters if we cool with it or not. Coach K's name is so respected in the game. This will quell the underlying questions about Jordan and the coaching. It's going to be hard to talk bad about Coach K for a while. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. I'm letting y'all know it's going to sound goofy. You can actually get away with, with the word development with a Coach K, I'm telling you. I don't agree with that, but hey, that's right, Ann Jams. I agree. I agree. I don't think he should be credited with the redeemed team, but he is. He is. 
Brother, Brother Train, I'm about to send you the link right now. This is breaking news. I want y'all to share this video, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. Show love to the Cashy Ashy app one. I'm unoriginal. When you're ready and you're teed up, go ahead and I'll, I'll drop you the link, brother. This is big news. We are breaking potentially here on the Lit House once again. Thanks, uh, Brother Mozart, for even uh, drawing my attention to it. I appreciate you, brother, for real. But, Brother Train, I'm sending you that right now. Breaking news once again. There are reports that Mike Krzyzewski was in North Carolina as early as Thursday night. I mean, in Charlotte as early as Thursday night. I've had a source confirm, and I had another source uh, basically say that it's something that is happening, barring negotiations falling apart at last minute. This is breaking news. Y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video. I'm waiting for my 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 partner, brother brother Barsh in the blue flame. Uh, how do we feel if Mitch? I mean, if, if, if Mike Shishetsky becomes the next coach of the Charlotte Hornets. Shout out to CJ. How would you feel? Shout out to Bell. How would y'all feel? And, and, and Mozart deserves his flowers. Let's put some flowers on the screen for our brother Mozart the Great. Let's put some flowers on the screen for our brother Mozart the Great. And, and shout out to the sources that are, are, are confirming at least that he's there and conversations are going on behind the scenes. Sam Cassell, I love Cassell. I love Sam Cassell, Max Stagg. But right now, let's talk about what we think about Coach K. Uh, my brother on original says, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. All right, brother Trey. Hey, man. Uh, <laughs> there's going to be a slight delay. Okay. Because I'm listening from a different source than the, than my video is coming out. So so what that, mean, what that means is, Brother Train, I'm going to shut up and let you talk. So, Brother Train, you tell us what you think about this news. We're talking about right. Look how it works. We're talking about how you got to put a name with a name. You can't just go with any assistant coach. You got to put a name with a name. And now we're getting the news live on stream that Mike Krzyzewski has been in North, I mean, in Charlotte, North Carolina, in Concord, North Carolina, for the past 24 hours. And something is brewing where he might be taking over Mitch's position and the head coaching position in a similar role to what Doc Rivers did a few years ago. I leave the floor to you, brother Train. Well, a peace to the tribe, new media. You know, of course, as always, we just do it better over here. I mean, it, it's just what it is, man. You come here when you want when you want it broke. When you want the news to be broken, you come here, and then the rest of it can catch up. You know, I think that Coach K hiring would be a stroke of genius for Michael. Because it would kill a whole bunch of birds with one stone. Number one, the vanilla Charlotte fan base will love the, love the signing because their thought will be he will keep LaMelo under control. Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll teach him. He got to pitch his coach, K. Whatever. Right? The Charlotte media would like to pick because now they can latch on to Coach K, Carolina guy, the whole, that, that whole foolishness, you know? So he will have taken care of all the politics of, of, of the, the politics of it. Coach K will take care of all the politics of it. Mitch moving out of the way, being replaced by Coach K, which is the only way 
this should happen, by the way. There's no way that success fee should just come there and just be a coach with Mr. Spencer GM. There should be a huge package. And with and with the cachet that Coach K carries, he'll get a package that really you side should have been gotten, that Missouri should have gotten some ago. But, you know, that's another, that's another talk on another stream. So, coach, GM, coach, VP, that combination is the only way that Coach K should take the job. Other than that, why would he be up under Mitch? He has done more than Mitch. He can be Mitch's boss at this goddamn point. You know? And because he has coached Olympians, the best of the best, what better, who, who better to coach LaMelo then Coach K, who has coached players who are really at this point that the mellow damn near is the mellow is either equal to or on the heels of right now. I said damn near, but he's on this, but he's this, but uh, but he's well if unleashed, he'll be right there. He's already there with him. That's why they're talking about him being the face of the league, the future face of the league, coached by Coach K. Would be like a Pat Riley, Magic Johnson thing all over again, and because, but see, I see, I think it's gonna be different than what they expect, though, Rev. Coach K was setting his ways about one and dones for years. Oh, that's for Calipari and those guys. They do the one and dones. No. Now until Zion, segue now. If there is a move for Zion, hey now, hey now, come home to Coach K, Zion. You 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 flourished on the see. I mean, so it works. It works. It works. And the the crocodile tears for well, if Coach K is hired, the crocodile tears for Borrego will be forgotten. And there won't be no, no no tears for Mitch if he does both, which, like I said again, he should do both. And I think that's the deal. He just got to put the package together. He ran the Olympic team. He ran the Olympic. He can do that. Charlotte, Charlotte should be easy work for him. And um, but see, unfortunately, it'll put it, it. You know, if Jordan get over the Duke connection, I think he'll. he I think he'll swallow the Duke connection because Jordan has got some pressure on him. See, Coach K is in Coach K is in those circles with Adam Silver, you know, and everything. Adam would love it, you know. They all from the same family. And Michael said, "Don't say, oh, good, Michael. This is what we want you to do. I mean, please." And then Michael will be cool. Lamelo will be raised, and then Coach K will have to address the the issues with <laughs> the mess that Mitch just left behind. And because he's a name of respect, no one is going to, you know, hop on that hiring. Even if they're losing, they'll uh, Coach K will have a long leash, a long leash to correct what's going on. And there are those who think not, but Coach K is going to let Lamelo cook because the difference is now he let Zion cook, he let R.J. Barrett cook. And if it hell, and if uh, Cam Reddish could have cooked, he was letting Cam Reddish cook. But he put the ball in Zion's hands. Of course, on the original course, he's going to try to use Coach K to bring Zion back. Oh, here's my bad, because Jeannie, baby, Jeannie's on it now. Played chess. I've been telling Jordan, it's time for you to get out the damn chess uh, checkerboard and get up to the chess and play chess, baby. You know, so I'm gonna stop right now and um and let let you know let let, let Rev respond to what I say. Then we can go back and forth. Like I said, it'll be a delay. So uh, excuse me, but that's what I got to say, bro. I am um I am. It's the perfect move for Michael Jordan. It's the perfect move for Michael Jordan. This is a rabbit out the hat, man. 
if he's able to pull it off, the problem with Coach K and the way Coach K is going to play it, you could be left holding the bag. He could re-retire if it goes wrong. And if you're not talking the numbers that he wants and you're not talking about the power and autonomy that he wants, he's not going to take that job. And now you're going to be scrambling for a coach. Mark Jackson is already interviewing with the Sacramento Kings. You know, so you're going to be left with the leftovers of the coach. So I'm telling y'all, the reason why this is an official, Coach K is not coming there starstruck. He's Coach LeBron James. He's Coach Kobe Bryant. He's coming there to, okay, why should I come out of my retirement and take this job? What am I going to get? What kind of power will I get being here in Charlotte? What assurances do I know that I'm going to be here to the end of LaMelo's rookie extension? What assurances do I have over the roster? What power do I have over the roster? Now, Coach K knows when a guy is the guy. I'm not worried about him holding back LaMelo, but it will be some strict developmental issues for the younger players that ain't named LaMelo. To me, this is a shot across the bow to my dog, Book Knight, to be real with you. This this is a shot across the bow. I, 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 I've had questions and concerns when Borrego got fired because usually when you fire a guy, a lot of times people think, oh, that means they show No, no. They usually clean a house for the whole situation. This, this concerns me for Book Knight's future in Charlotte. But I'll tell you, this gives them more rope for real development. Now they can really say, Okay, it's a three-year process. We got the ultimate process coach. And to, to Brother Train's astute um, astute viewpoint, the great coaches are able to evolve with time. I remember when uh, Nick Saban was so against the spread offense. Alabama was known for the, the, big, the big lineman up front. Uh, I think at the time they were running a 3-4 defense. And they had the big uh, lineman up front, and they had the the big um, linebackers in, in Rolando McClain and Dante Itow. Well, once the spread offense came and Hugh Freeze kept whooping their ass, they said, okay, we're going to have to evolve into a spread defense and start running a spread offense. And he went away from the white quarterbacks at Alabama, and he started to go to the brothers who could run the spread, like Blake Sims and Jalen Hurts and Tua Tagovailoa. And now you got uh, Bryce Young. And then you got the young kid Jalen there now as well. Nick Saban understood he had to evolve. Same thing with Coach K. He understood, okay, one and done is the only way I'm going to survive. So Coach K is not as strenuous as you would think. I think the first choice would be, as Aunt James was saying, Royce, Roy Williams. But if you look at Roy Williams, man, I've been to a lot of Charlotte games. Roy Williams looks over the hill, man. He looks old. He looks like he's tired. I, I, don't, I don't think – he would accept the job. I think Coach K was probably the second choice. But in order to land Coach K, they're going to have to give up a lot of power, and they can't waffle in their negotiations because as soon as sure as that plane has landed in Charlotte, it will be right back in Durham. And Coach K will say it'll ne it never happen because that's how they play it. There was never a meeting. So, Brother Train, can you talk about the importance of Michael Jordan Nell in this negotiation right now if this is the name you don't want to miss out on the name once it starts floating out there it's on you trey michael like i said i've said this over and over again this season this off season is a make or break for michael's legacy and the word even if it's even if it was seen or whatever the fact that coach k is in the house shows that michael understands what this is now he was sleepwalking for a minute but he's been awakened <laughs> he's been awakened that's why he came out with those notorious <laughs> he's been awakened <laughs> Wait, whoa. Oh no, Lamelo's not just Lamelo's not my cute nephew. No, he's coming for the kill. Wait a minute, I got to, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
oh, I see someone who really could replace me. I write my own now. It's like, wait a minute. It's like, so I need to make moves. The NBA is calling from Dakota, LA. And if he leaves, I know that my legacy is done. That's why I said, Rev, conservative moves, he cannot make them. I said, he got to move big. Rev, I said this. And on, on this platform, on spaces, on both on my spaces and on this, on this and this. I said, Jordan, if Jordan make middling moves, it'll it'll mess up his legacy, his money, everything will be done. So Michael, hell, outside of ownership of the damn Hornets, outside of ownership of the Hornets, whatever Coach K want, Michael should give it to him. At this point, what other choice do we have? You got the mellow ball in your house. That's what comes with having the mellow in your house. Charlotte Media, learn this. Coach K ain't coming to coach no goddamn K, no damn K Bay. No Cody Martin. What? Huh? No Terry Rozier. No Gordon Hayward. Coach K, coach, what they say, argues the greatest college player in, 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 in NCAA history, which, you know, is what that is what it is. Of course, I don't buy that, but that's what they say. Christian Leitner, what? Christian Leitner, Grant Hill, Bob, you know, you know, even coached up Bobby Hurley's little weak ass. You know what I mean? I watched those games against Kentucky when they went back and forth with Jamal Mashburn. You know, Mustard Mash himself, man. I watched those games. I watched those games when when Coach K was going up against Larry Johnson and the UNLV running Rebels, man. Against against Coach K versus the Fab Five, Chris Revan, Jalen Rose, and them, man. What? Plus the U and plus the UNC Carolina rivalry. Cherokee, he was he, he coaching up Cherokee Parks. What a Cherokee Parks. He was coaching up Cherokee Parks, you know, going up against them, uh, Stackhouse and 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 uh, Carter. What? So so it covers the so if Michael drops the ball on this, I actually don't th- I actually don't think. And then Coach K is nice. See, one of the reasons why Coach K got in a little trouble, especially, see, Nike pay, hey, it's what it is. Hey, let's deal. Let's deal. Let's keep it a buck down. Coach K <laughs> got paid a lot of money by Nike. And one of the, it came out when not, when Zion broke the shoe about, uh, you know, in, in the whole you know, college players not paying uh, the 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 the, at the amateur quote unquote amateur athletes not being paid, while the coaches in the programs for the college getting paid by the shoe companies and everything. It is what it is. Coach K is a Nike guy. It makes perfect sense. It's Nike and Carolina with a big name. Why would he go? Why if jo- and these are the things I said, Rev. I said Michael Jordan is going to stay in his comfort zone and stay in Carolina. Well, if he's going to stay in Carolina, this is the way you go. I don't need for no damn Hubert Davis. We can get a Coach K. Shit, what? Hey. 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 Uh-uh-uh. So I think I think that'll bring excitement, particularly in the region. It'll be it'll be a win for the region. The NBA, the NBA will be ecstatic. You know, and it'll be Coach K coaching up. And, 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 you know, and coaching up the young LaMelo Ball into the face of the league. So you got you got a Coach K who in the Olympics was coaching faces of franchises in the league. Now, now is they're turning over the face of the league, in essence, to Coach K. And Coach K will do right by them because he knows them, because he's in their family. So he'll do right by the NBA. He'll do right by Charlotte and low-key. He'll do right by the mellow. Right? See? See? You see what I'm saying? No, that ain't gonna happen. Rich, 
Rich says Puma can blow the hole in the blow the hole in it by negotiating uh, Lamelo's contract. Now Puma's gonna play ball. See, they, see, this is the Puma knows when to play ball. It'll benefit. It'll benefit all parties involved, especially if they could snatch Zion from New Orleans to come to Charlotte to go with Lamelo. Which Coach K with Coach K as the coach. Now Jordan Jordan Brand is good to go. You see what I'm saying? Puma's good to go. Everybody's eating. What's wrong with everybody eating? That's enough for everybody. The NBA is happy because we got Showtime again. Everybody watching TV. You know, if LeVar is smart, he'll leverage it too. Hopefully. You know, and developmental wise. Here we go. Kai Jones could use uh, uh, Coach K. He could. You see what I'm saying? He could. He could use. He could use a Coach K. All of them. Could, uh, a JT Thor could use a Coach K. You see? And on the low, you know. Hey, hey, Swarm. Swarm, don't get upset because I called you on your jello stand uh, foolishness, man. Come on. Come on, man. Coach K may, depending on what, what's going on, he could, he could, he could, he could, he could, he could even work with Jello. You see? So, as well as establish LaMelo as the guy, now Miles got to make a choice. Interesting now. If Coach K comes to Charlotte, does Miles try to stay in Charlotte to be under Coach K, who is similar to his coach Izzo, or do you run home to Detroit under uh, Dwayne Case and K Cunningham? Ooh wee! Interesting, Ooh, interesting. It's breaking, all juicy. Uh, breaking news right now. Breaking news. It is confirmed that um, it, it, it is it is confirmed that Coach K is in Charlotte or has been in Charlotte for the last twenty four hours. At some point, um, a lot of information is coming in. I'm texting this quick as I can. We are about to transition over in the next five minutes to new media spaces. Um, I'm bringing Bartram back to um, new media spaces. We're about to go crazy right now. Y'all pull up and let, let us know what you think about this potential hire and what goes on with this hire. It, it is about to be lit. It is about to be lit on new media spaces. Head over to Twitter right now. You're going to look, if you're somebody that requests, if you request, you must retweet the spaces. You must retweet the spaces. Breaking news. You must retweet the spaces. If you want to speak, if you want to request, retweet the spaces. I'll be back at 745 for, well, 730 for the Brooklyn Nets versus the Boston Celtics. Uh, game three of the first round. Uh, I will be back for the live stream to watch that live here in the Lit House. And tonight we'll be back with the um, King's Disease uh, episode two. Gangster edition. Thank y'all for pulling up in the house of the lit. Y'all show some love to the cash app before you get out of here. Also hit the like button and subscribe. Shout out to our brother Mozart for um, bringing the breaking news and shout out to my sources for confirming. Um, I love y'all. I appreciate everything y'all do and uh, sharing the information and the nuggets with us. Go subscribe to our brother Mozart. Show love to the cash shop. We heading over to New Media Spaces right now on Twitter. If you want to speak, request. But if you request, hit the retweet button of the spaces. Hashtag breaking news. It's the Lil House. Show love to the cash shop. We'll be back for the Brooklyn Nets versus the Boston Celtics. Hey, man, what's the first fucking rule of Lit House? Don't play with me. What's the first fucking rule of Lit House? You don't talk about the fucking lit house, you understand? Because if you don't understand, you got to get to fucking step in, my nigga. Straight like that, nigga. Man, don't forget the first fucking book. Don't do it. Don't do it, I bet. Don't, don't play with me. I think I got a new view. They see me on YouTube, they clock on my views But they should not have assumed If I'm on the mute, then I'm shaking the room See I'm the fuse, run me the wrong and you making the new My shooters, they root, dang, bang, bang Turn your rate to a tune You gotta be sturdy She throw a ballot, she trying to murder me I got a crying, I'm Lordy, I'm mercy Murder your shooter like worthy and curvy I take my time, bitch, I ain't in no hurry That BB up if she first had a surgery I'm all about drama, and I'm a honey It's like a summer, then why you squirt? Scream murder Murder, she Murder, murder, she murder, 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 murder
murder she will Murder, murder she will In the city like an avalanche Kill the lady, do my battle dance Smoke with Jimmy, I'm as mad as Max I beat niggas, never had a chance Murder Chillin'. 